Six years now since the space shuttle retired, it uh, got us thinking, what's next for NASA? Well, it turns out to return to the moon and even a mission to Mars is in the works. Jason Whiteley traveled to Johnson Space Center for a first-hand look in this WFAA original. Internal power separation of the first tower. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. Before astronauts ever orbit the Earth. We don't just use this facility for tours and TV interviews. This is our actual training environment. Building 9 at the Johnson Space Center is a required stop. What we're standing in right now is a module that's about the diameter of a school bus, maybe a Greyhound bus. Chris Cassidy showed us a mock-up of the International Space Station. How much total time have you spent in space? Total time was is right around six months, two weeks on my shuttle, and just shy of six months um, uh, on my Soyuz mission. My seat was this right one. Soyuz is the Russian spacecraft. We've been buying seats on it ever since NASA retired the space shuttle six years ago. That six-hour ride is our only way up right now. Plus, you're in the in the cockpit for three hours before launch, so. Uh, it, you're driving from Dallas to Houston and back in, in this without stopping at Bucky's. But NASA is no longer making vehicles to go to the space station. Instead, private companies like Boeing are doing that now. Right now we are pushing towards two launches this year, unmanned and manned. And capsules are making a comeback. Atop that rocket there is the Boeing Starliner, a small capsule that can send seven people to the space station. It's also about time we get the public spark back interested in space. So 2018 is going to be a huge year for us. And you know, the shuttle had a great purpose. It also was there to really build the space station. So once the space station was completed, what we really needed was a vehicle that could um, stay on the space station for a long time. Capsules are tried and true technology, smaller and simpler than the shuttle as well. This is the Orion mock-up here at the Johnson Space Center. Uh, Orion is NASA's next generation space capsule for the uh, exploration beyond low Earth orbit. But this is what NASA is spending its time and money on, to go to the moon, Mars, even an asteroid. So right now we're in the pilot and commander seats for the Orion capsule, and we're in the launch configuration. Astronauts could live in here for three weeks? Yes, the, about the size, the volume of two minivans. That's a long time. That's Najud Morancy. She and her team make sure everything works right on Orion. There's actually uh, several lockers here. From launch to landing in the ocean. How hard does this hit the water? Actually, uh, the more amazing is how much we slow down. So when we come back from the moon, we're going 25,000 miles per hour, and we hit the water gently at under 20 miles per hour. Inside Building 9, you sense a renewed enthusiasm here at NASA. How accurate is this stuff here? You have Sriracha over here. You have Sriracha in space? We do. We do got, you really? Yeah, I mean, they, they make great food. It's made here in the, in the food lab in, in, uh, at the Johnson Space Center. American astronauts preparing to launch on the first American spacecraft since the shuttle bound for the space station and beyond. Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News.